stories of courage, hope, attitude, and inspiration. My name is Lou Hensley. I'm with National Bank of Indianapolis and the director of RHI, and I'm here to welcome Jennifer Phillips with us today. Jennifer and I worked together at National Bank of Indianapolis, and how all this came about one day was we were having lunch with a, a new client uh, that I was introducing Jennifer to from a private banking group standpoint, and and this was a, somebody was retiring as a CFO of a uh, organization here in Indianapolis. And I was asking them what they were going to be doing in their spare time, thinking community service wise, thinking, oh, could this be a new director potentially for RHI or something like that? And then I mentioned RHI, and Jennifer pops up very quickly saying, oh, we've had wonderful experience at RHI with, my, with the help to help out my ex husband. And I'll just, that's my ad lib, so we'll just lead oh, into that. Tell, tell us what happened. Sure, Lou, here. thank you. Well, in 2017, a little bit before Thanksgiving, I received a call from my daughter, Sydney, that her father had fallen from um, his girlfriend's roof, which is a two-story roof, um, onto the driveway head first, and Ouch. that he was in the hospital. They were getting ready to take him in for surgery, and she, she needed her mom, of course. And um, Rob and I have always been very close, and just a wonderful man and individual. And um, so I went up to the hospital and he suffered a really bad fall and had his right frontal lobe had been severely damaged. And um, through the great help of uh, the, his neurologist and surgeon there at Ball Hospital in Muncie, um, they were able to save him, mm -hmm. put him on life support. He had two additional surgeries the same night too. They had to remove part of his skull because of the swelling and the inflammation. Um, and it was touch and go for several weeks, Lou. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pretty hard experience to go through, to watch your daughter go through. Oh, no. Yeah, and then the, the prognosis at the time was not favorable, mm -hmm. um, but we just kept praying and being hopeful that um, we could still have Rob in some capacity with us in life, mm -hmm. um, not fully knowing, um, not really having the expectation that he would return to us as the man that we knew and we loved. Mm -hmm. um, but still, when you're in that moment and that time, you want to do whatever you can to help that individual. So um, I was still noted as his medical representative at the time. So I had a hard decision in front of me to make as to whether to take him off life support or to leave him on. And mind you, this is after several years of divorce too. Mm -hmm. So through many um, conversations with his surgeons and doctors, um, I elected to um, leave him on life support a few more days and see you know, how he progressed. And by the grace of God, he progressed a little bit. Um, so, we did take him off life support, and at that time, Rob started to come back around to us a little bit. Um, and that's when we got introduced to RHI, mm -hmm. that that would be our next step would be to bring him here. Um, and through a lot of research and investigation, we just realized how well this hospital was loved and mm -hmm. their um, success rate and their just the the encouragement that they gave to patients um, was very heartwarming warming, and that's what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. So at that time we elected to bring Rob down here after a couple of months in the hospital, he was able to be transported by ambulance here to mm -hmm. RHI. Um, and we can't say enough good things about RHI in his time here. Um, their um, ability to work with individuals with this sort of injury is unbelievable. And um, I had some friends at work that actually had their daughter um, here at RHI, and he couldn't say enough wonderful things about our RHI. So that gave us a comfort level too, because you're literally giving you know somebody to a hospital to. Yeah. take care of in every fashion possible and you have to have the faith that that they're going to do the right thing to to make him better um we were told at one time that rob probably would have a mental capacity of about a 12 year old 
and um, he has far surpassed that, Lou. He really has. He he um, has recollection of things. His short-term memory is still a little weak, but his long-term memory is still intact. Um, he remembers things I wish he didn't remember, <laughs> but um, he does just an incredible job. And mm -hmm. I we really owe that to RHI. We really do. How long was he here? Oh gosh, that's a great question. I believe he was here about six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I was at the time- On a full-time basis? Full-time basis, okay, right. yeah. We were driving back and forth. His daughter stayed here quite a bit and his girlfriend at the time was very instrumental in his, his rehabilitation here as well. Mm -hmm. Very supportive, very strong family and mm -hmm. everything. Um, and they just did incredible things with him. I can't say that Rob loved it here because they would challenge him and push him to do things, I think, mm -hmm. beyond his comfort level. Um, but I know to this day he's happy that he was pushed in that direction. Mm -hmm. So um, they did things that I wouldn't have even thought of doing and then encouraged us to continue some of that mm -hmm. when we did bring him home eventually. Is, so, is, is he able to work now at all? He is not know? able okay. to work, okay. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, he still um, goes through bouts of depression. He still goes through bouts of just being very um, complacent. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that is part of, you know, the, the part of his brain that was injured. He just, it's very hard to motivate Rob. Mm -hmm. So, but he does live on his own, which he was not supposed to be able to. Oh, really? okay. He does, he takes care of himself. He's still ornery, he still tells <laughs> jokes. Um, he still has a wonderful relationship with his daughter. Mm -hmm. um, he is different. Yeah. I mean, he is. It's 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 sad. I mean, it truly is when somebody has this sort of injury. Um, especially, you know, everybody says the old cliche, it will never happen mm -hmm. to me. It will never happen to someone in my family. And it does. Um, and we're just blessed that there are facilities like this that we can bring someone to and get the help that they need and at least be able to continue to function to some degree. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm still very involved in Rob's life. Um, we're going through a lot right now trying to get disability. Um, mm -hmm. We're going through a lot of just um, testing. Um, we believe we might be able to get a driver's license back for him. Mm -hmm. So he's oh, excited really? about okay. that. Yes. So you have to go through quite a bit to try to get that back, but I think we might have a chance. So mm -hmm. if I need to slow down just a little bit on these driving. Mm -hmm. So, but we're excited about the future and some things that we can do. And, um, but it's, it's still hard. Oh, it's yeah. still really, really hard. But there's opportunity. Now he has, now in spite of that, all that's happening, he still has potentially some additional freedoms he's going to have. Yes. An additional improved quality of life, which is all as a result of what's, what, what, what happened here yes and then it's like oh that six to eight week time period oh, golly, yeah that's guy has quite a story yeah Man, yeah glad, glad to hear is there anything else you'd like to say to say to our say to our our, our, our HI sure. clients our friends our supporters absolutely i would just encourage anyone that um, has the opportunity to go and do additional work rehabilitation to do it and to do your research and study and talk with people that have been in your position. Reach out to me, I'm happy to talk to you. Um, come in and tour the facility, um, see what's available here, watch what they do with these people. A lot of people I think believe that they can do it on their own at home and rest assured you cannot. You do not have those qualifications and expertise to do what this facility has. Um, it's hard, but through love and endurance and God's grace, we can do anything. I truly believe that now. Jeremy, that was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to donate to RH to the RHI Foundation in honor of Jennifer and and I'm as certainly I'm gonna do now after I've heard this story. Please click on the link in the post and thank you again for listening today and have a wonderful rest of the week.